My friends, we are at Ground Level Customs. That is the shop belonging to one of my best friends, Sean. And if we're here, you know that means I, I need help on some project. We're gonna build a sim computer. I, I don't know anything about building computers. I just buy Macs. I know, I know, all the Mac haters leave your comments in an orderly fashion, but today we're building a custom PC to run a simulator. I know nothing about it. You, you hopefully, you know what you're doing? So first step is you put the motherboard in the box. There we go. Done. So talking about sims, that's simulating what we do on this channel a lot, which is FPV drones. So flying FPV freestyle or racing, a great way to practice without actually risking crashing or having to have good weather or light or whatever, is playing on a computer with a simulator. It's essentially a video game just designed to create the flying experience without actually flying. I always tell people that every time you press the reset button, you're saving a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a walkthrough, parts breakdown. All right, so we, I, there's a lot of the stuff I just had laying around. We got this case, a graphics card, halfway decent one. It's a 1050 Ti. We got an eight gigabytes of memory here, tiny, tiny NVMe hard drive. I can't believe it's that small though, it's ridiculous. That's a hard drive? That's the hard drive. <laughs> what? This is the processor. We went with AMD instead of Intel because it's a little cheaper. The uh, power supply and the motherboard. So just based on some of the specs, like the size of the RAM and things like that, like my Mac is better. Why aren't I getting good sim performance on my MacBook? The Mac doesn't have a great graphics card in it. Okay, so um, it's all about That's part that. of it, yeah. So most any decent computer will run a sim. My high-end MacBook can run the sim, but even on that, I have to like turn down certain things like the graphics quality and, and still the performance isn't that great. It's a little laggy and when you're trying to simulate flying an FPV drone, you want it to be as responsive as the high performance drone in real life is so that you're actually simulating the experience of flying. So having a computer that's better suited for actually gaming will provide for a much better sim experience for FPV. We got the motherboard installed, the memories installed, the graphics cards installed, the power supply is there, but we gotta wire it. And the hard drive is installed. We lost the screw, but back on track. How am I doing? Am I doing all right? <laughs> so here, here's what I think I've learned, is what I think you've taught me. Building a computer isn't that difficult. You did most of it, but I followed along. I feel like everything pretty much just plugged in. The difficult part seems like just buying all the stuff that works together and is compatible, which you figured out. I, that's what would have thrown me off. So the hardest thing is always, for me, always been trying to make sure that everything's compatible with each other. And I contacted my buddy Greg, uh, who's my go-to guy whenever I don't know the answer to something, and he always has the answer. He told me to go check out PCPartsPicker.com, and that's how I ended up picking the parts that we needed, because that website is so awesome, it automatically checks the compatibility of everything that you're putting in your shopping cart to make sure that it works with each other, and that made some, made everything so this much easier. This video is not sponsored by PC Parts Pick. <laughs> Parts pick. If they want us, but hey, give me give me a call. But yeah. just genuinely, this was a new experience. You guys might want to try this yourself if you're getting into FPV and you really want to do simming the right way. You might want to try and build something. I like my Mac. I just wish it could run a sim better. Jeez. All right, we've got our newly built sim computer loaded up in the truck, and we're actually taking it to Roto Riot headquarters. However, before we get the computer to Rotor Riot, we're gonna sneak in a quick flying session. I actually was not planning on flying today, but then this guy, Robin, 
He's here all the way from Germany. He came all the way from Germany just to visit Rotor. No, he was, well, you came for a conference. So yeah, I'm excited to get the simulator going and try out some high performance simulated flight. But getting in some real flying, that's always good. So we got these trees here, got some good lighting. Hmm? Session. I only flew like three batteries, but I feel like second battery I got like a good good little rip good vlog rip You know not something I would necessarily use for like a whole flight video, but definitely feel like It's a good good clip for the vlog good flight clip for the vlog. How's your session? Nice. nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you're gonna go back to Germany. And oh, no, I snow? don't want to man what, Just stay in Florida. Man. Yeah, I would this. like look to. at this beautiful pink sunset oh, Why? It looks awesome <laughs> Okay, so we finally got the computer here to Rotorat. I don't remember when's the last time that I brought you guys here, but this, this front room, it's changed a lot. And we're actually getting it set up to be uh, what I want to call the quad gallery. Basically a, show, uh, basically a showroom for people to come in and check out what we got and learn about quads and learn to fly. So we're gonna get a simulator in that back corner. We're gonna get drones and other stuff on all these shelves that we've put up here. And we're gonna make this a cool place to hang out, learn about quads and stuff. Um, anyways, let's, let's get this computer going.